This is a kidnapping story with a bigger twist than anything Carly Russell could have pulled. In Australia back in 2008, 23-year-old Julian Buckwald was dating 17-year-old Carolyn Watson. Technically, this was legal in Australia, although still a bit creepy. The two were also devout Christians agreeing to save themselves for marriage. Even hugging and kissing was off the table, the two were only known to hold hands. On March 4, 2008, Julian had taken Carolyn on a picnic date to his family's property and they drove to a waterfall. They were driving back and Julian pulled over after seeing what he thought was a hurt animal on the side of the road. A man in a van then pulled up and grabbed Julian. Julian was then pulled into the back of this van, tied up, and they drove around for several hours before he was released into the woods. Around the same time that Julian was kidnapped, Carolyn was also picked up by another van driven by a man wearing a mask. She was stripped of her clothing, bound and gagged, and driven around for over five hours before being released into the woods. After Julian had been released, he was wandering the woods and he came across a terrified Carolyn. Julian untied Carolyn and they were both now lost in the Australian bushland. The kidnappers had left some food strewn about, and they survived off of that for a few days, but were quickly running out of supplies and fearing for their lives. During their time of desperation, Julian asked Carolyn to marry him. But she was really put off by this idea given the situation they were in, and it didn't go according to Julian's plan. Meanwhile, back at Carolyn's home, her parents had received a letter, apparently from a satanic cult, saying that Carolyn would be essayed and burned alive if they went to the police. Julian's family had also received a similar letter. After six days of wandering the wilderness, Julian and Carolyn managed to find their way to a road where they were picked up by people who ended up driving them to safety. But police were already on to the truth. There were no kidnappers. It was all staged by Julian in an extreme attempt to get closer to Carolyn and get her to sleep with him. He even made several attempts to get her to make love to him while they were stranded in the woods, fighting for their lives. Once Carolyn found out the truth, she was obviously horrified, and she even said that she was actually planning on marrying Julian before she went off to college next year. But obviously, he messed that up, and for her sake, it was probably for the better. Julian was arrested on kidnapping charges, but he was able to make bail. And while he was out on bail, he fled to Singapore while dressed as an Indian man. He dyed his hair and darkened his eyebrows to make his disguise look more legitimate. But when he got to Singapore, he was arrested again and now on even more charges for trying to flee the country. He was eventually sentenced to seven years and nine months for the kidnapping, with an additional six months for fleeing the country.